So American pika, they are the smallest member of the lagomorphs. They're a member of the true hare family. And they have historically been characterized as a high altitude, alpine, obligate species. You only find them in high elevation areas where temperatures tend to be cooler. So what we are studying, we're specializing in the low elevation lava habitats that for some reason tend to support pika in climate regimes that would otherwise be very inhospitable for them. You see lava and you just think that's rock. There's nothing, why would anything think that this habitat is great? But something does and it's a pika. It's full of large cracks and fissures and small cracks and fissures. And it's those fissures that the pika actually occupy. These lava flows trap cold air, and that cold air is what allows pika to escape from warm daytime temperatures. We're starting to develop some information that indicates they've been here for a long time, and these lava habitats may actually be an important part of core habitat. They may be more important under future climate scenarios. I like studying pika in particular because they are a constant reminder that we should never think linearly about species and how they adapt through time. And it's that adaptability that is the fruit of evolutionary change. With the lab, I go and do surveys out on the lava field. Once we get there, we grab the transect tape and we make basically kind of a circle around the site and then we get out our flashlights and start the timer and we start looking for scat. It's not like necessarily glamorous being out on the lava and being sweaty and hot and miserable. I mean, that's what everybody else would feel, but for me, I was like, I can do this. I like this. I'm okay not showering for a week <laughs> and being out here. And for me, that was an aha moment because I knew that I was in the right place. I knew that this was the fit for me. I think that it gives me a leg up in that I've worked with a team, I've worked with a lab, I've had to do things on my own, you know, drive out to a site on my own, do the whole shebang by myself. We think it prepares them really well to actually enter the field and hit the ground running. Uh, but they also have a sense of agency, culture, professional responsibility that they develop as a result of working not just with faculty, but also with agency professionals in this collaborative environment.